guys, even here with the old school apps, and we're checking out the most recent bodybuilding updates. Well, actually, the first one is about Dexter Jackson, and uh, it's not really a bodybuilding physique update, it's rather a selfie. Now, imagine being so successful in bodybuilding that you just take a selfie in your gym, and some guy from Eastern Europe is already making a video about you. Imagine that. <laughs> it, must, it must feel awesome, right? Anyways, you cannot really see too much on his physique, but you can definitely see that he is not losing any size. I mean, he is in his 50s. He, he turned 50 last year, and uh, when the Mr. Olympia comes, Mr. Olympia 2020, that is delayed. You know, guys, it's happening in, in, this, in December. Uh, he's gonna be 51, actually. And, you know, at that age, it's always a possibility that you can actually lose some fullness, some size, but uh, apparently... That just doesn't work with Dexter. The age doesn't matter at all. And we said this a million times, and I guess I'm saying it again, I'm repeating myself, but I'm, I'm always gonna be impressed by this. So, apparently he looks full, he looks big, everything on him, not just the arm, you can see the size of the legs and the shoulders, and overall, I mean, just his whole body compared to his head and to his uh, wrists and joints. So, yeah, he, he's big, he's really big. Look at the forearm there. Look at that brachialis, or radio, brach radio brachialis, whatever it's called, and the biceps, the, the shoulders, the, the whole arm, just huge, just huge, he, he's big, he's definitely holding a lot of size, come Mr. Olympia time, he's gonna be what he's known for, what is his nickname, the blade, he's gonna be as sharp as a blade, as always, actually, I gotta say, 2018, that wasn't the best version of, of Dexter, he wasn't, very conditioned, and his legs were definitely not that good, but next year he came back to Charles Lass, and his guru, uh, George Farah, was also back in the game after recovering from cancer, so he helped him properly, and he had a, a trainer in the gym, you know, Charles Lass, who helped him, you know, regain that fullness, especially in the legs, and actually come conditioned, uh, with the help of his uh, guru, of course, so he was spot on last year, the entire year, that Tampa Pro Edition, that was amazing. And I'm looking forward to see him at the Mr. Olympia. Is there a possibility of him winning and, and you know, gaining his, his 30th Pro win by winning another Mr. Olympia title, by becoming the second time Mr. Olympia champion? Is there a possibility? Yeah. Yeah, there is a possibility. Not very high possibility, but there is a slight chance. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but I don't think he's going to be out of top six. That's for sure. That's what I think. Alright, next let's go with a little bit less relevant name, and that is Nick Walker. Now this guy is not even a pro, he tried to turn pro last year, failed. Uh, why? You're wondering, look at the size of him, because of the condition, he wasn't exactly super sharp. But uh, he's definitely, <laughs> I'm sure he's the biggest amateur right now in the world. And this guy is an absolute freak, he's really a mass monster. And it's only a matter of time, a matter of year, where uh, or when he's gonna actually turn pro. If he's competing this year, yeah, yeah, he can win that pro card, for sure. He deserves it. I mean, this guy is an absolute unit. I mean, look at the size of this guy. Look at those arms. Jesus. And I do believe that he's gonna be one of the top pros eventually, uh, unless something, mm, you know, bad happens to his health. Knock on wood, I hope everything's gonna be fine. Uh, but look at those legs. Look at those cows. The shins. What is going on over there? What is going on with those those veins? I think this is a condition called uh, various veins or something like that. Verocious, I'm not sure, but it's a condition. It's a condition, and uh, I don't know how much can this damage his health. I'm not sure exactly what is going on there, but overall he doesn't look very healthy, you know. And when bodybuilders don't look very healthy, it usually means they that they aren't. And this guy is a youngster. He's like I'm um, 26 right now, I think, and he's bigger than most pros probably. So, something is not right there, and hopefully he knows what he's doing, hopefully he's being safe. I mean, I just hope he's just a genetic monster, I hope he has such a good genes that he doesn't have to use so much stuff to grow this much. Uh, what is the likelihood of that? You know, not very big, I mean, it's not very likely to be the case. He is probably pushing it, he's probably pushing the envelope. I mean, let's just hope for, for the best case scenario, hopefully he will stay healthy and uh, he will keep making progress in the pro ranks after he turns pro and, you know, eventually come to the Mr. Olympia stage. I believe that's gonna happen, uh, unless, unless he, he, you know, pushes it too hard and messes something up, but that's always a possibility, let's not uh, count that as a possibility, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he, he is trying to stay healthy as much as he can, so we'll see what happens.
All right, next one, I saw a photo of William Bonnack, and I'm not gonna bother you too much with this one, because it's not much. It's just a part of an arm you can see right here, but you can see that he is big and that he is conditioned. You can see the, the veins and the striations uh, on that little skin that you can see that, that, that is not covered uh, by a long sleeved shirt. So you can see a little, uh, and he looks to be in shape. He looks to be pretty big. The legs seem a little bit uh, downsized. Uh, it could be just the angle, but he did have an injury in his quad that did hurt him, I think. It wasn't, I mean, his physique wasn't super symmetrical last year. So hopefully he fixed that, and as far as the, the, the conditioning and the fullness, he has it. I mean, he, he always has the conditioning. It's all about, like, how full he's gonna come, or how conditioned. You know, it's just a little degrees up and down. So, William Bonac, he always brings the shape. He always comes, you know, good. Sometimes he's a little bit fuller, sometimes he's a little bit flatter and more conditioned, but he's always on, and I'm sure he's gonna be on at the Mr. Olympia. Will he win the Mr. Olympia, take it from Brandon? It's a possibility. If Brandon comes off and and William comes on, yeah, it can happen, and I think he is probably the biggest threat to the title, uh, because the other guys, we don't know if they're gonna, gonna compete, like Phil Heath, Sean Roden, <laughs> Kai Green, not even a joke. Um, big Ramy, you know, but as far as the consistent bodybuilders, we know that William Bonac is, is right there in the mix. He, he was the runner-up last year, so I think he has the, the biggest chance to actually taking away that sandal from Brandon Curry, but I still think Brandon Curry has the biggest chances. But we'll talk about the Mr. Olympia predictions more as Mr. Olympia is approaching. Let's go with the next update now. Patrick Moore. Now, this one is going to be a little bit sensitive and a tough one. I don't want to do this one, but... I have to. I have to. I'm a reporter. I need to do this. So, Patrick, if you're watching this by any chance, I'm sorry, man, but I have to I have to give you my honest critique. Honestly, I'm a bodybuilder myself. I mean, I'm trying to eventually turn pro in classic physique. I really want to do that, and I'm really trying my, my best. I'm really, like, killing it every single day. I hired Milo Sharchev, actually, as a coach recently, and he's pushing me to my absolute limits. So, I know how it feels... Uh, when you're really trying your best and you're not seeing a lot of progress. And if somebody tells you that, it hurts. It really hurts. So I'm about to say something like that right now. And I don't want to do this, honestly, but I have to. I have to. Well, first of all, the, this pose, this variation, one hand on hip, most muscular. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. Somebody has to tell him this. Do not do this on stage. Do not do it. His arm looks too small. When he does this, you need to have huge arms to do this pose. He has pretty big arms, but not that big. Big Ramy has big arms for this pose. Um, I guess guys like Brandon Curry, sure, Phil Heath, but not not Patrick Moore. No, he's not big. He's not that big. I mean, he's small compared to the other guys. And so, no, this pose just don't do it. But what I'm trying to say right here is, he looks pretty small. He looks pretty small. I hope it's just a pose, but did he make any progress from last year in the past, how many, 12 months now? Almost like 10 months or so? Mm, I, I don't really see any progress. I don't think he's any bigger. I mean, he looks even smaller, maybe. I don't know, guys. Do you see this? Does he seem bigger to you? Does he look the same? I think he looks even smaller, less impressive. I mean, maybe he just started his cycle, maybe he was off for a while, maybe he's gonna grow into the show, I mean, that's a possibility, but how much can you really grow into the show if you were pushing it the entire year with training and everything, you can't really grow that much, so, I mean, maybe he's gonna grow a little, but, you know, he didn't make tremendous progress that we were all hoping for, if he wanted to be like one of the top guys at the Mr. Olympia, he had to make a lot of gains, like, I don't know, 20 pounds of muscle, and... Yeah, I know that's not happening in one year, and he's aware of that. He, he doesn't want to ruin his physique by doing that, by pushing it too hard. He wants to add details, you know, over the years. But then again, he's like 36 at this point. So when? When he's 42? He's going to be too old at the time. I mean, he can maybe like, you know, be top guy for a year or two. So if I was him, I would definitely be pushing it super hard at this point because he's so close. He has everything, everything except mass. And this year round, he looks even smaller than last year. And I don't want to say this. I don't like saying stuff like this, but I need to observe. And I need to give you guys my opinion. I cannot be like, everybody is great, everybody is looking good. 
that's boring. Who's gonna watch that? I have to be honest. I need to stay honest. So uh, that's what I think. That's what I see. Whatever you guys see or think, let me know down below. All right, next and the last news for this video is going to be Ronnie Coleman with his posing video, actually. And firstly, he is doing this uh, cable rose. I increase the speed of the video, of course, obviously, because I want to skip to the uh, best part where he's actually posing. But here you can also see, I mean, he has, uh, I mean, you can see the, the way his arms are looking. And I mean, for somebody who had so many surgeries, who is barely even able to walk, he's still hitting the gym and, and he looks actually not that small. There are people who are smaller than him, retired bodybuilders. He is 56. And you're about to see his front double bicep right now. So yeah, there you see it. I mean, he still holds some muscle. There are bodybuilders who lost more. But if you compare him to what he was once... I mean, it's not even a comparison. Of course, you cannot even do that. You shouldn't do it. I shouldn't have said it, but I said it. Anyways, this is a physique update of Ronnie Coleman. You can see it right here. I don't want to even further comment it because I'm going to say something that's going to offend other people and we're going to get dislikes on this video. But anyways, this is it. It's going to have to do it for this video, guys. And if you want to see more content like this, you know what to do. Subscribe. If you want to say something about whatever in this video, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe. Once again, all the best, guys, and keep it old school.